one mark on the flywheel, two marks on the engine case. Top dead center. Dead center. I want to set it to 21 degrees. 21 degrees is 31.2. It's one and a half millimeter. Here is one degree, and on the slatter it's one millimeter, one degree. You can also measure now 31 here and mark it. Or as a lazy foot, you can again just take a piece of paper cut it to 31.5 millimeter and you got the old 21 degree here Top that center, 21 degree. say here is we had the flywheel stopping around here but we need it to be here just remove the flywheel straight after then you will still have it in your eye and you can mark it or you can even mark it when it's running and we have here a distance of fifteen millimeters it means ten degrees Part from the valley we want. So let's twist the stator. Now I want to twist the stator a bit. First thing you have to do is mark the current position. <laughs> this one. That's the current position. We need 10 degrees. Hold it here. Twist it. We had around 31. We want to have 21. So we move it towards the cylinder towards the cylinder in this direction the value gets less away from the cylinder the value gets bigger so we moved it in this direction up
What do we need to get the top dead center? We need the piston stopper and the measuring tape. You can borrow that from your mom. Don't make it dirty, she will get upset. We put the piston stopper in, and then at a certain point it will, surprise, surprise, stop the piston and the flywheel. Then we take one on the left. Okay, we could also touch this. What we do here is we want to just choose a wing here. That looks good. Because somewhere here in the middle lays the top dead center. And we're going to measure it. Yeah, we can take this wing. Let's mark it. With this thick marker, it is of course just an estimation, but it's fine for now. So we have one mark here on the case, and here we make the second mark. One mark on the flywheel, two marks on the engine case. And guess where is the top dead center? It is exactly in the middle of these two marks. Somewhere here, and we're gonna measure that. The thick marker was just to show you how it works. We of course work with something sharp. Make a scratch here. And we make a sketch of the engine case. The case is fun because it has already a lot of scratches. Playing with this engine since 2003. 17 years. A lot of cylinder kits. This case has seen. So you now you turn it the other way now this is the second mark and guess what there's also a scratch already an old one it is this one on this side that's way easier to re remove the flywheel again. Mm. I like that, the standard puller. Mm. Top that center is exactly in the middle of these two marks. Remember, we have one on the flywheel and two on the engine case. Top dead center is exactly here. So the only thing you have to do, you have to find out the middle between these two. Measurement thingy. Then take the half, or the other possibility is all the way. You just take a piece of paper. Check that you get the marks. This is like this. Not yet. I'm getting there. There we go. And I just fold it. Let's work from the bottom. Yeah. Here it is.
top dead center. That was it. One on the flywheel, two on the case. Exactly the middle is the top dead center. <laughs> you see the old marks. Oh, I love this engine. <laughs> <laughs> a beast! Sorry, yeah. Bist du deppert? Ist das ein Beast jetzt? <laughs>